record was in Smash 4. Oh, God. I feel like it went back and forth, though, it's, especially near the end. I think, yeah, near the end it went more back and forth. It was usually at WNF where these two would actually play against each mm -hmm. other a lot. I believe it. All right, let's see how it starts off here. Okay, laser, that's a great way to interrupt uh, Koopa Kart immediately. Yeah, that's the one thing you want to do is shut down that movement that Bowser Jr. does get from Koopa Kart and then immediately slow it to pick things away. I feel like that's the objective here. Stop the movement and then slowly take things apart from there. Ooh, man, but so much damage being put onto G9 yep. already in the start of this match. Yep, he's stopping wow. it down because he knows one of Tater's favorite moves is that side B. That was very interesting. I'm not sure what happened there. I think he, like, escaped it at the very last second. So then he got hit by side B, but he flew off the stage instead. Okay, yeah, that was a bad position to be in. Tanner or excuse me, Bowser Jr. in general doesn't really have the greatest about a shield option, so kind of just was stuck there. He had to jump out or something, and K9 was able to call that out very nicely. Double Nair, triple Nair. Maintains that control. Try to call out Tanner drifting back to the stage, but not quite. Oh, and that time got interrupted there before his up smash came out. Yeah, and Tanner tried to call out Kanan's high recovery there with that up B. It also would have caught the ledge recovery as well. Yeah. And Fire Cannon here sticking in with this lead is pretty nice. That Nair stops the side B, and that forward smash stops the roll. Great stuff from Kanan, recognizing that his smash stacks were going to have a little bit of cooldown. So he just went back, repositioned himself, was able to still get the kill. Taternator not fast enough to be able to find that punish. All right, double laser. Yeah, so far, K9 already has a stock overlap. It's going to be a little bit difficult to try and find his way back from this one. Especially the way he's been calling out defensive options. Yeah, oh, no cross up on the Nair. Sorry, dash tag. Okay. He's gonna watch the landing here. I like the fact that he comes back down with that. Yeah. <laughs> Oof, okay. That was good though, because he knows the first thing he's gonna be coming in was with an aerial. He's been going for an air because he's so used to stopping Tater from that oh, side. Oh, back B. hit down smash. Yep, that was very really nice. Yeah, covers the roll too. He might be dead after this interaction. Oh, he doesn't catch him on the foyer again. I thought he was gonna get that forward tilt very nicely. Mm. Not quite though. Forward smash does have that lasting hitbox, so it does beat out that spot dodge. This is Kanan's game to lose here. If you give Tater too much of an inch, he will take more than a mile. It lands in with Nair. Great use of double jump there because he wants to stall when he's going to go for the Nair. Yeah. Mixing up the timing. Into down throw. Oh. We'll try to clip him there. Not quite going to be able to find it. I think he anticipated that cross up a little bit too early. Yeah. I mean, Tater Nair's got a lot of rage to work with, so it could be scary if. Uh, he lets himself get a couple more hits onto K9. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Back throw? Is that enough to do it? No, gonna find a corner on the other side of the stage. And Bowser Jr.'s weight because of the Koopa card and the way the yeah. mechanics works for her is so much in her favor. Respects the cross up here, I like it, but he, mm, great spot dodge. Yeah, man, if uh, all else fails, then spot dodge on whiff and uh, up tilt. Very <laughs> nice uh, way to take the stock. There we go. So question here, did you ever play Marvel vs. Capcom 2? I, I own it, yeah. You own it? Yeah. What's you up? Play it, yeah, I did. Okay. Quite. I just want to make sure, because like, I know you have a backlog of games. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, side B, would, would we call it, because you, know, you know Wolverine, how he has that move, would we call it Berserker Barrage or Berserker Slash? If you were to rename it, because I know it's Wolf Flash, but it looks more probably. like Wolverine's, it more, looks more and more like Wolverine's moves. Yeah, probably Slash, maybe. Berserker Slash? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. Totally different tangent here. But we'll go back to the main tangent here. It's going to be K9 once again against Tatermator. This man is determined to bring it back against Master Mario. All right, starts off with the jabs. Oh, but it's going to be a big combo. Already, K9 is going to try and start to optimize. Now, okay. for, for game two here for Tater, it's understanding K9's use of Blaster and Nair. At this time, he's only going for side B slightly closer here. We kind of saw that range that he went at for it. Yeah. He's not doing it from longer distance anymore. Yeah, k still doing a good job of calling him out on it, though. Like, I don't think he needs too much range to be able to throw out an air since it comes out so fast. He'll be have, having it out as early as frame six. Yeah. The forward tilt. 
Able to catch him on the ledge here and on the two frame. Look like he tried to parry a, uh, a hammer just in case. He kept the shield up just in case on that uh, recovery. Good tech. <laughs> like you said, right? He's got so many moves with counter that side, but he's also got blaster still. Yeah. Okay, there's the dash attack. Forward tilt. Still not enough to do it. Down throw. Good change up. He doesn't want to go for the back throw just yet. Once again, you said it earlier, right? He's looking for that time install. You did that against Shine. Against Kenan could be proved much more crucial, especially with 172%. That's kind of one of the things K9 sometimes tends to struggle too, is the longer the game goes without the stock being taken, the more frustrating it can become for him. And any opponent in that fact. Yeah. Wolf has a plenty of uh, kill options though. Oh, met him in the air with that. That was very nice. Tanninator gonna be able to even up the game count, or excuse me, the stock count here. Picks him up with the fork. <laughs> Picking up Wolf and taking him for a dinner. Yeah. Oh, that oh, was I almost the right idea. Oh, that was still the right idea. It wasn't, yeah, because he, he had that high recovery, so he has to go for that high option. Mm -hmm. it's great coverage there, even uh, with the side B immediately back to the ledge. He didn't grab the ledge, so he landed on the stage, and that was mm -hmm. a perfect opportunity for Tainator to close out the stock very quickly. Kind of on the strike back here. Slowly building up 0% to Kainai, almost like he didn't lose that stock. These two are just destroying each other. Yeah. That was, that was crazy. This was a lot of good reasons. Soft resets from K9, and he brought himself back into a last game, or excuse me, a last stock situation on game two. And put himself in a 2 0 lead. That'd be great for him to be able to try to get his uh, run back and move, win his finals. There. Oh, I like it. <laughs> that was a great space yeah. too because he knows he's gonna come in with nip four there. I wanna make sure I'm spaced enough. Yeah. Uh Strides was talking about it earlier how K9 just spaces so well with just walk. Yeah. So it makes him very susceptible to be able to get very nice punishes. Ooh, that was such a good tech roll read. And I like it. Kinda keeps a little bit calm and tries to go over Tater. Tech chase, down smash. Oh, oh the armor! The armor. Oh, okay. Just grabs him right out of it. I thought he was gonna see an up smash out of shield, but the grab came out first. Nice, using that double jump to kind of get away and reset himself. Watch out for that back air. Oh, he got shield up just in time. Yep. Oh, picks him up with the up smash. Very nice. The scoops. Looking at Kanan's resume as a player, it kind of harkens back to back in Smash 4 when he used to use Diddy and Sheik. He was kind of a calm and patient player, right? He had that level of control within himself. Likes to approach his opponent with walking. Likes to approach his opponent by waiting. He was never afraid for that stall game and that spacing game he had with those characters. Transfer that to a character like Wolf, and you definitely see where it tends to click together. Yeah. All right, here we go. 2-0 for K9. Let's see if he can close it out to a game three, just on a 3-0. We'll have to see. Yeah, neither of these two are going to be switching off characters anytime soon, I don't think. Here we I wouldn't go. even know who to put K9 under on a secondary, to be honest. Uh, oh, I, th I think I've seen him use Lucina like a few Lucina, times. Lucina, yeah. That's that's probably the only other character I've seen him use in a competitive setting, at least. I mean, this was the story of the first game. The, uh, Bowser Jr. pretty much has like 0 to 40, 0 to 60 combos. Yeah. If you're if you're not careful. So I'm not going to count like this damage as like, oh, he's got a big lead right now. It's about closing out the stocks and just like that with the forward smash, actually. Long lasting hitbox. Covered the neutral get up there. That was great. Um, from Tanator. Wow, he's going ham on, off, on the offstage game. I mean, he wasn't he, doing that at all against Master Mario. No. I'm telling you, the, the guy's a man on the mission here to get back on the PR. There we go. Up smash closes out the stock there. Old Not 40. a bad position to be in. Yeah. We're not seeing a lot of nares or flashes. They're going to stop that side B, but I do like to fake out with the neutral jump. And then gets in a forward air, pushing this man right to the corner. Great mix up with the double jump, but unfortunately doesn't anticipate or doesn't even put out an air to stop the side from Tater. Yeah, I thought he was gonna drift back down, and get a fair or something, but I guess that time he was a little bit hesitant to try and punish uh, Bowser Jr. on that. So just kept himself uh, in a good position. Gonna make it back to stage. Okay, avoids the jabs. Nice, I like it. Even angles the shield slightly just to get away from it. Yeah, that time did not want to try and punish. I think he knew that. 
wasn't going to be able to roll through. Oh, and just gives him a taste of his own medicine, the forward smash at the ledge there. Yeah, and he charged it up for just that small second to make sure he was going to be able to kill. Nice. Right down he, throw. That downer actually does have a little bit of end lag if you're not able to just get it away just right. Yeah, he uses that get up attack for a yeah. little bit of the ledge invincibility. Yeah, it's very nice. Very smart stuff on the ledge there. Keeping his uh, calm and collective nature at the ledge there. And it's kind of, oh, I'm smashing that out of the way. And it's kind of interesting to see Kaelin kind of come back to full form. The start of the season for this PR for Kaelin was not looking too hot. And now look at him, he's finding himself at least top player at MSM at the end of the season. Yes. Trying to figure out his way in. Oh, yep. forward smash, nice spacing there. Trying to read a double jump. Oh, another forward smash. Not gonna do it just yet, but yeah. does have that weight. Oh, I thought he was just gonna go for a back air, yeah. Didn't quite come out. Oof, not quite able to find it yet, but still, K9 with lots of great control. What's the option gonna be? Oh, it's back air. Not quite gonna come out again. There is a little bit of startup on that, so you can at least meet it on air to air. Looks for the lining. Goes for that forward air, drifts back because he knows that Koopa, the Met Koopa is right around. We're looking for that up smash out of shield from either one of these players, actually. <laughs> Not quite. 177, dude. Mm -hmm. He plays it safe, though. I like the back throw. Doesn't want to yeah. give away too much. Oh, he almost got that forward tilt, but the cannonball hitbox a bit too mm. strong. And there it is. A dash attack. That will close it out. 3-0 for K9. Yeah. Very nice. Alrighty. Looks like